Module 6. Healthy Life. 6a. 1. Read. A. Listen and read. What do the two experts believe about fast food? Write P for Peter Swain and R for Rosalind Mack next to the correct opinion. There are two extra opinions which you will not need to use. Fast food. How healthy is it? It's fast, it's cheap, it's tasty. Everybody loves it. But how good is it for us? Here's what two experts, Peter Swain and Rosalind Mack, have to say. Do you feel like a juicy burger? Well, it's OK. Fast food isn't that bad for you. Remember, we need protein in our diet to be strong and healthy. And our body needs a little fat too. Also, eating a few chips every now and then doesn't make you unhealthy. Potatoes are rich in carbohydrates and they give you energy. Just don't overdo it with fried food. For some vitamins, choose a fresh salad with olive oil. Nowadays, most fast food places have salad bars. So, don't avoid fast food completely. However, eating a lot of it is unhealthy. Peter Swain Fast food is junk food. It's full of fat, salt and sugar, and it doesn't contain many vitamins. Many teenagers are overweight because fast food is a big part of their diet. Also, they don't exercise a lot, so at some point they will probably have health problems. Teens need to avoid fast food. It's better for them to eat home-cooked meals with lots of fresh vegetables and drink lots of water instead of soft drinks. Milk and dairy products are rich in protein and calcium and are necessary for healthy teeth and bones. Rosalind Mack Three. Listen. Listen to a man interviewing a girl for a survey about teenagers' eating habits and write T for true or F for false. Hello there. Could I ask you a few questions for a survey about teens and healthy eating? It won't take long. Sure, why not? First of all, how many litres of water do you think you must drink every day? I think about two litres a day. At least that's how much I drink. Is that OK? Yes, that's good. What about when you're exercising? I play tennis, but I don't really drink more. Well, try to drink half a litre before you start exercising and, if it's hot, drink a bit every 15 minutes. That sounds like good advice. Now. 40% of your daily food must be what? Um, fruit and vegetables, probably. They're very good for you. That's true, but the answer is actually carbohydrates. Like bread and pasta? That's right. And if you do a lot of exercise, you must eat more of these types of food. OK. Do you drink milk? Um, not really. I usually have some on my cereal. I don't really like it. Do I have to? I mean, I'm not a child anymore. Well, for a person your age, about three cups of dairy products a day are necessary. Does that include yoghurt? Because I eat a lot of yoghurt and I love cheese. Well, I guess that's enough then. What about sweets? I want to stop eating them, but I just can't. Listen, sweets are OK if you don't eat too many. That's the thing to remember. Don't overdo it, OK? Just a few more questions. Six B. One. Vocabulary. Match. Then listen and check your answers. 1. I've got toothache. 2. I've got a sore throat. 3. 
I've got earache. 4. I've got a cough. 5. I've got a headache. 6. I've got a fever. 7. I've got stomach ache. Two, read, A. Listen to the dialogue, then read it out in groups. Why didn't Bill go to the cinema? Where's Bill? It's almost nine o'clock. The film starts in 15 minutes. I think we should call him. You know Bill, he's never on time. He's not answering his mobile. Maybe he's still at home. Try him there. Hello? Bill, what are you doing at home? Aren't you coming to the cinema? Sorry, Amy, but I'm ill. I've got the flu, I've got a fever and a headache. I've got a bad cough too. <coughs> you poor thing. You should take a painkiller and stay in bed then. What's wrong with him, Amy? Bill's got the flu. Oh dear. He shouldn't go out. And you should drink some warm tea with honey and lemon. OK, OK, I will. Are you at home alone? Um, yes, I am. I have to hang up, Amy. Maybe we should cancel the cinema and come and see you. No, um, you'll get ill too. OK. Bye now. No, that was never a foul. Are you really alone? That's just Stu. He's, um, looking after me. I'm really quite ill. Stop lying, Bill. You're watching football with Stu, aren't you? Goal! Get in there! Yes, I am. Sorry, Amy. I promise I won't lie to you again. Four. Listen. Listen to Laura talking to her brother. What's wrong with her? Tick. Hello. I'm home. Is anybody here? I'm in the living room. Hi. Oh dear. You look awful. What's wrong? <coughs> You should have a hot drink for that cough. I'm having a cup of tea. It helps my throat quite a bit. Is it sore? Yes, very. It hurts when I talk. Do you want something to eat? No, thanks. Why? Have you got stomach ache too? No, my stomach's fine. I'm just not hungry. Try to eat lots of fruit. You're right. I should eat more, actually. You've probably just got the flu. Lots of people at school have got it. Yeah, Mum was here a while ago. She rang up the doctor and he said it was the flu. My friend Lee had the same thing last week. He had a terrible headache too. Well, my head feels fine. I think I've got a fever though. Really? Let me feel your head. Yes, you're quite hot. You should really get to bed. No, I'm fine here. At least I can watch some TV. Would you like a glass of orange juice? Oh, yes, please. Thanks. Six C. One. Vocabulary. Label the pictures with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. 1. Do aerobics. 2. Go jogging. 3. Do karate. 4. Lift weights. 
two. Read. A. Listen to the dialogue. Then read it out in groups. Which class does Phil want to join? Why? Ready to go, Julie? No, I'm waiting for Nat to finish her aerobics class. I don't know how you can spend so many hours at the gym. It's boring. I disagree. It's great here. You should join too. I'm quite fit, thanks. I ride my bike to school and I sometimes go jogging at the weekend. I don't need to work out at the gym. But at the gym you can make new friends. You're right about that. But aerobics is just boring, isn't it? No, it isn't. Anyway, you can use the machines or lift weights. That's boring too. I agree. I like aerobics better. Wait a minute. You like karate, don't you? Karate? It's brilliant fun and good exercise. I'll definitely join. Great. Hi, you two. I wasn't long, was I? Hey, Nat. Phil is joining the gym. Nice one. We can do aerobics together. The new instructor is great. No, no, aerobics is, you know. No, I don't. Well, it's boring. And it's so easy, it's ridiculous. But karate? Do you really think aerobics is easy? <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you should come and try it one day. You'll be surprised. There are more people in the aerobics class than in the karate class. What? Six D. One. Vocabulary. Match. Then listen and check your answers. A match is an organised game or sports event. A spectator watches a sports event. A league is a group of teams that play matches against each other to win points. A trophy is a prize like a cup for the winner. A champion is the best player or team in a sport or competition. The national team is the team of a particular country. Two. Read. A. What do you know about FC Barcelona? Listen, read and check your answers. FC Barcelona. Mes que un club. More than a club. FC Barcelona is a sports club for men and women and has got basketball, football, handball, roller hockey and futsal teams but it is most famous for its football team. They are a top European team and their nickname is Barca. On the 22nd of October 1899, John Camper placed an advertisement in the local newspaper wanting to start a football club. Lots of people replied and Barca was born. In 1902, Barca won their first trophy, the Copa Macaya. Gamper became the club president and Barca turned into a very successful team. In 1988, ex-player and Barca hero Johan Cruyff returned to the club as manager and he brought together the so-called Barca Dream Team. They won four championships in a row with players like Ronald Koeman and Pep Guardiola. In 2009, Pep Guardiola's first season as manager they achieved something amazing. They won the treble of La Liga, Copa del Rey and the UEFA Champions League. What is more amazing is that in 2015, they became the first European team to win the treble twice. In 1957, the Camp Nou Stadium became the home of Barca. Today, the stadium can hold 99,354 spectators and it is usually full, especially for El Clasico matches with Barca's main rival, Real Madrid.
three. Listen. Listen to two radio presenters talking about the best sports team ever and complete the sentences. And we're back. So, Greg, we're at the end of your top ten best sports teams ever. What's at number one? Well, we have to go back to the Barcelona Olympics of 1992. I thought so. I'm talking about the USA basketball team, which became known as the Dream Team. I remember it well. I became a sports reporter a long time ago, 25 years ago to be exact, and I don't remember seeing another team like that. And there is a reason for this. It was the first year that stars from the NBA, America's National League, played together as a team during the Olympics. So there were lots of famous players. Oh, yes. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, the list goes on. There were 12 players, and they were all superstars. Did they lose any games? Nope. They won all eight games they played, and they beat each team by an average of 44 points. Wow. That was hard for the other teams. Well, some teams actually enjoyed the experience. Really? Yes. In their first game against Angola, they won by 68 points. Wow. And after the game, the Angolan players asked the Dream Team for autographs and photographs with the players. That's amazing. The good thing is, because of the Dream Team, basketball is now very popular all over the world. A lot more countries are involved and national teams are constantly improving. That's true. The USA are good, but they don't win every game anymore. Exactly. Well, thanks for that. Six E. One. Vocabulary. A. Complete the table using the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. Sport. Place. Equipment. Tennis. Court. Ball. Net. Racket. Water polo. Pool. Ball. Goal. Swimwear. Goggles. Football. Pitch. Ball. Goal. Boots. Shin pads. Hockey. Pitch. Ball. Goal. Stick. Shin pads. Volleyball. Court. Ball. Net, knee pads. B. Listen and read. Can you guess what the phrases in bold mean? 1. Every morning I exercise before I go to school. I want to keep fit. 2. Last year I went on a diet and lost 6 kilos. 3. Ted wants to take up a team sport. He's really interested in volleyball. 4. You have to be in good shape if you want to take part in the cycling race. 5. I think I put on weight during the summer holidays. My clothes don't fit me. Two. Listen. Linda. I never thought I'd like it so much. I used to think it was a silly sport, but now I think it's the best sport in the world. I have to say, though, it's a bit difficult, more than I expected. When I started playing, I didn't used to be very fit, and trust me, you need to be in good shape to play. It's becoming easier for me, you know, all the running around the pitch, but I really like it. It's different from football and more interesting because you have to use your stick to hit the ball. Carlos. I liked it in the past too, but I was always too busy with studying to take it up. Well, a few months ago I decided to join a local team and what can I say? It's fantastic. It's all I can think about. My friends are in the same team, so we meet and go to practice together every afternoon. I'm not saying it's not hard work and you can get injured easily, but it's great fun.
Yesterday, we won the match after I scored the final goal, and we were all very excited. I think it was because I was wearing new boots. <laughs> Owen. When we lived by the sea, my friends and I used to play for hours, and I enjoyed it a lot. But it's one thing to play on the beach with friends, and another to be a member of a team and play on a court. Yes, you still hit the ball over the net, but I miss the sand and the sun, and I don't enjoy it as much. Anyway, I'm going to continue playing because I want to keep fit, and maybe it'll help me make new friends. Moving to a new place is not easy. Culture page 3. A. Look at the pictures. What do you know about these two parks? Listen, read and check your answers. Central Park, New York City. New York City has got lots of parks. Central Park, in the middle of Manhattan Island, isn't the biggest, but it's probably the most famous. It opened in 1859, and today it's a beautiful area of about 3.4 square kilometers, with 25 million visitors every year. The park is called the Lungs of the City because it's got over 26,000 trees. There's also a zoo with 130 different species of animals and 275 species of birds. Central Park is open from 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. People can enjoy the environment but also do many activities throughout the year. At the park, you can play baseball, tennis, or go swimming, ice skating, cycling, or running. Other activities include yoga or fishing. You can also learn about how to protect nature. Hyde Park, London. In 1536, King Henry VIII started using Hyde Park for hunting deer. Today, you can't hunt deer, but the park is open to everyone. Covering an area of 1.4 square kilometres, the park is one of the largest in London. With 4,000 trees and a lake, it is a beautiful place for visitors. Lots of birds and animals live in the park, and visitors can see them while walking around. Hyde Park is open from 5am to midnight, and people can do lots of things there. There's a sports area for football, cricket, softball, etc. People can also cycle, run, walk, go swimming or horse riding. Throughout the year there are concerts, art events and much more at the park. Song 3 Complete the song with the words in the box. Then listen and check your answers. Where did it all go wrong? wrong change your mind there are extinct animals of every kind it's too late for them we can't rewind we must do something and now's the time what are we doing to our planet where did it all go wrong we have to think now about the future that's why we're singing the song Recycling, what's that about? There are some things we can't live without. If you see a forest fire, you have to shout, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. What are we doing to a planet? Where did it all go wrong? We have to think now about the future. That's why we're singing the song. Is where did it all go wrong? Our planet is beautiful, but it won't be for long. If we go on like this, it will soon be gone. Wake up, people, and listen to this song. What are we doing to a planet? Where did it all go wrong? We have to think now about the future. 